things are going to get tough. You know what? This strikes me because it's you know, not always rosy. No, sometimes <laughs> it's a challenge. Sometimes there are some things that are real pain in the ass. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. <laughs> I'm not looking at you either. You looking at me? I'm not looking, I'm not at, looking you. at you. <laughs> Entertaining, inspiring, thought-provoking. The Amazing Living Show. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. And now, your hosts, Don and Lucky. We have had so much time and energy invested in the boat recently that we have not been recording episodes, but we have been having some amazing discussions over dinner. And we had so many that we came to a place that we were so intellectually constipated, <laughs> intellectually constipated that we had to dump on you all. <laughs> so what prevents you from having an amazing life is that you don't have a clear enough definition right. of what that is. Right. Second is that you don't have a clear direction. Okay. I think that people get derailed. Like we were using this analogy of the train, evidently going to Happyville. <laughs> what amazing Amazing land. town versus Funville. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with Funville. And no. Lot... <laughs> Funville's a good place to go to. I know. I like to go there once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go on there here after the episode. <laughs> Maybe so. I remember one year I was driving and a guy pulled out in front of me and we got to chatting on the radio and he said he was going to New York. Right. And I was like, oh, <laughs> dude, you're going the wrong way. He goes, no, I'm going to New York. And I was like, well, you may think you're going to New York, but you're driving west right now. And New York <laughs> is east. And he's like, well, I don't know about all that. I just know I'm going to New York. And I said, no. <laughs> I mean, if you go far you, enough west, you don't if know. If you go far enough west, we, eventually, yeah. and you take a couple of rides on some <laughs> cruise ships, You'll you will there. eventually make it to New York, but that sure is the long fucking way around, told, and that is it right there. I told you can get there. It's not that you can't get there, but do you really have time to screw around with it? I mean, how soon do you want to get to your amazing life? I mean, is that the way you want to do it? Great. Then no maybe harm in that. No. then maybe your amazing life is to be an explorer. Having an amazing life is no different than having an amazing love in this respect. Because we ask each other all the time when one says to the other, I love you, the other person always says what? Why? There is a solid, valid reason for doing this. And you will hear us do this all the time. In fact, we've even started doing it with our listeners. When our listeners right. or those that follow our writing will say, I just love you guys. We've started saying why. Right. And here's why we ask why. Tell me why, Don. <laughs> the reason why we ask why is because if you don't know why you love someone, you won't know why you don't one of these days. I know what it was. It was inspired by somebody who had asked, you know, when we were talking about the show and everything. And the first thing out of his mouth was, oh, do you make money at it? Oh, right. That was, <laughs> that was because a couple you, of days ago. if you're ago. not making a fortune... It's a waste of time. But that's how he runs his whole life. Okay, but I think a lot of people run their lives with, if it doesn't have the end result, like, right instantly, mm -hmm. that it's a waste of time. Right. But then, after you spend some time and you build the relationship, when you build the business or whatever it is you're working on, all of a sudden there's a shift. And those very same people that said, oh, you've only been together two weeks. Oh, you've only been together two years. Oh, you're only making 400 bucks a month. Oh, those very some people are the ones that will tell you or not tell you. They'll tell everybody else they got lucky. When you finally start oh, to yeah, establish. When, when, when you 10 years now are down the line and you've got still right. got a kick-ass relationship. Or you're making 10, 30,000 dollars. Or you're making a big bucks. Oh, oh, right. They got lucky. They got lucky. <laughs> it was a waste of time in the beginning and now they're lucky. You know, everybody gets excited whenever they are heading toward a dream, right? Right. They'll come across a video. They'll go to a seminar. Right. And then they have this ding. It's a light bulb moment, right? Right. And it usually starts a fire going. It usually gets them all excited, right? It really does. Yeah. And then Is a the, day goes by. Yeah. They got excited. They got pumped. They bought the CD program. Yes. Or they hired the coach. They walked on coals. I wouldn't say hire a coach because they don't usually do that. 
They walked on coals. They walked on coals. They went to a seminar and they walked on hot coals. They're all fired up. Holy shit, they're on fire. Yep. Literally, they're on fire. (laughs) Feet are burning. (laughs) A day goes by. And a day goes by and they drive home. They listen to the CDs. Listen to the CDs and they're all excited. Day day three goes by. Mm Mm-hmm. They're still listening to the CDs. Mm Mm-hmm. Day seven goes by. They've stopped listening to the CDs. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So... One of the because you know it's just too much trouble to pick up a CD and stick it in the player. If you don't stick with it long enough, you're going to go to the house before you learn the things that you need to learn to have what it is that you want to have and be what you want to be and enjoy what it is that you want to enjoy as a result of having this amazing life. Every shitty thing that is happening to you right now is preparing you for what you asked for. Oh, my God. This is what you wanted. And in order to get what you wanted, if you were already that person, you'd already be doing it. You have to be developed. You have to be groomed. You are being prepared to be this person. Yep. We decide what the value is of everything. Somebody yells at you, you decide. You're a dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> you... D- <laughs> Somebody yells at you. You're a dick. And you decide... <laughs> This is just not for me. Right. This is a sign from the universe. That I should go back to what I, I was like doing before because somebody yelled because at me. Because I had a safe, comfortable place and nobody yelled Where at me. Where nobody yelled at me. Strategies for creating a kick-ass life. If you've enjoyed listening to this sample of Amazing Living with Don and Lucky and would like to hear more, go to AmazingLiving.net and become a member where you'll get every fun-filled and life-changing episode in their entirety. That's AmazingLiving.net.